Hey everyone, this is Baylor Ray, and in this video, I want to show you how to host a PHP application for free on Heroku.com. So the reason I'm making this video is because Marcus Reich has been making this programming in PHP tutorial series, and he got to this point where he asked, where do I host the code, or posted this in this thing, where do I host the code, and he posted some examples or places to actually do this. But none of these actually let you host a real application, they're designed more for like hosting snippets and running the PHP snippets. So I want to show you how to do this even better. So here are some things you can do. One, you're going to need a Heroku account. It's free, and you can do pretty small applications for free, no problem. Heroku can handle it. The other thing you're going to need to do is know Git. And Git's pretty easy to learn. It's not incredibly complicated. Uh, just follow along on GitHub or try.github.com, and you can learn it pretty easily. It, once you understand Git and know how it works, then you can actually use a GUI application. And GitHub actually makes this. They have Mac.github.com, which is the GitHub, the Mac version. They also have one for Windows at Windows.github.com. So learn Git, use the application if you don't like the command line interface, and get a Heroku account, and then follow along. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make a new directory for a project called PHP on Heroku. I'm going to go into that directory. And I'm going to create an index.php file here inside of this project. And what I want to do is echo out something like PHP on Heroku is awesome. Okay, so we've created this. Now I'm going to actually run the git. So I'm going to say git, com git init, which initializes a new git repository. And then I'm going to say git add everything here and run git status to make sure it's all clear and then git commit dash m and I'm going to commit these changes and say add app and now I'm going to, now I have my git repository and I can say this I can say Heroku create and this is going to create a Heroku application and I'm going to pause the video while it does this okay so you can see that it's created this website for me it's fiercehamlet2906.herokuapp.com and now what I can say is I can say git push and now this is the special part. We can say we want to push onto our Heroku master or Heroku branch on the master. We want to push onto our Heroku repository on the master branch, which is the main branch that we're on right now. So I'm going to push these changes, and I'm going to pause the video again, and I'll go through it once it's done because my internet service is just running super slow right now, and it's not good for a video. Okay, so here it goes. It's push these changes. And now it's bundling, it detects that we're on PHP, it bundles Apache, bundles PHP, and compiles it, and then it puts it onto Heroku.com, and now I can run Heroku open, and this is going to open the application up, or the web app in Firefox, and you're going to see that the first time it's always a little bit slower, I think maybe they do some caching afterwards because it's always faster, and you can see we have PHP on Heroku is awesome, so I have this live application, I can copy and paste this URL. I could submit it in to this project. Um, and you can see, I, I mean, you can make this even more complicated. You could actually do some real things here. And you can say I can access index.php. I mean, it, it's a real application, PHP application up on the website, or up on the web, live, ready for other people to play around with. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below the video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.